Hi there, it's Rika Kovasin here with layout for AB Studio. I used the Follow the Rabbit collection and documented a holiday from several years ago. I also mixed in one sheet from Around the World collection. You can see the materials in the description box. When I'm doing a layout, I try to match the paper somehow to the photo. I often use black and white photos because they give me more options what to use as a color scheme. But in this case, the green in the picture was so vibrant that it didn't look like anything if I turn it black and white. So it's colored photo and that's I used greens a lot in the page. As you could see, I used two sheets from Follow the Rabbit collection and tore the other apart so that there's some dimension in the page. I adhered the bottom part on top of the bigger 12 by 12 sheet and then think where to put these little embellishments that I cut out from the Around the World paper. After that, it's time to add the mediums in. First, I use a stencil to make a pattern layer that runs through the page. So I put some on top of the green paper and some on top of the pale. Then after drying, I add some color on top. I'm using a mix of greens and copper tones to match with the embellishments and the color scheme I already have going. I also add some splashes here and there, kind of trying to bind the two halves of the page together. And after drawing this color layer, I also added some acrylic metallic copper tone splashes, kind of to highlight that vintage tone that is in the around the world embellishments I used. The other use I have for the Around the World paper is to make some leaves. I'm using a leaf stencil from AB Studio to kind of sketch the leaves to the paper with a copper toned gel pen and then I cut them out. As the gel pen isn't that visible in the paper, they are not identical, but that doesn't matter nor are leaves identical. I also colored with the copper paint I used for splashes, one of the chipboard shapes, and I'm including that to the page also. But to make them blend to the page more and kind of have a little bit more dimension and definition, I'm using uh, black ink and ink through the edges of the leaves and then the chipboards. To kind of highlight the photo and make it more visible from the background, I add some light colored layers underneath. For this, I'm using different papers from the Follow the Rabbit collection. I cut the papers in different sized squares or rectangulars and then use an office stapler to attach the layers together. I then use foam tape to mount the cluster to my page and also use foam tape to attach the photo on top. Then it's time to think how to arrange those branches and leaves I have. I'm trying a couple of different ways to put them on the page but decide to go with the original idea, kind of following the lines of the wreath rising from the seam of the paper. Originally, I was thinking that two 
pieces of the wreath are enough but when I attach them to the page it's the rule of the third so I need a third one so luckily in the package there's more so I just painted one more piece with a copper tone and added the ink around the edge and then I'm able to place it on the page I'm using another sheet from the Around the World collection to add the title there is already kind of an eyelet shape in the paper so I add an actual metal eyelet to that and then add the title on top using a word sticker I then mount the little tag to the page with foam tape and finish the page with some rhinestone stickers and then next here's the finished layout and some detail shots I hope you like this process video I hope you got some ideas about how to combine collections or how to pick the colors from the photo. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!